Order. Order. I'm seeking silence for the... Order. Mr Brownlee. Order. I'm requesting silence for the station. Ma Mojo Mathers, question number 10. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Broadcasting. Does the Minister think it acceptable that hundreds of thousands of New Zealanders who live with hearing loss are unable to access the TV commentary on the any rugby world cup game because we do not have mandatory captaining requirements in this country. The Mr. Honourable Speaker. Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, I think we are doing a good job in terms of improving captioning in this country, but we can do better. I am advised that there are technical limitations that protect, uh, prevent captioning for the Rugby World Cup games. In terms of mandatory captioning requirements, in the past decade we have seen a tripling of New Zealand's Order. level of captioning for free-to-air television, and as such we do not have plans to introduce mandatory requirements at this time. Supplementary question, Supplementary question Mojo Mathers. Does the Minister accept that the fact that something of such significance as the Rugby World Cup is not being captained shows that the current model of relying on public funding rather than making captaining mandatory <coughs> is not working? The Honourable Nikki Kay. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Broadcasting, I repeat what I said before, which is that we think overall we're, we're moving in the right direction. We've seen a tripling of captioning content in the last 10 years. We've increased the budget from $2.4 million to $2.8 million. Uh, we know that we can improve. We're going to work with Sky TV and Prime to ensure they have the technical capability in the future, uh, but we don't think mandatory is the way to go. Supplementary, Supplementary question. question, Mojo Method. <coughs> Does the Minister realise that the All Blacks game against Argentina was screened live with captions in Australia, England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, France and other nations with mandatory captioning, but not in New Zealand, and does he consider that acceptable? The Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Broadcasting, um, as I said before, you know, we are aware that other countries do have mandatory um, requirements here, but the, the point that I'd make to you is the, the organisation that won the rights to broadcast do not have the technical capability. We're aware of that. We're working with Sky TV and Prime. We've increased the investment in this area, but it's not technically capable at the moment. Supplementary question. Sure. Supplementary question, Mojo Mathis. Does the Minister think that it is a sign of a fair and decent society that thousands of New Zealanders are unable to fully experience the excitement of following a national team play a national game because we do not have mandatory TV captaining? The Honourable Nikki Kay. On behalf of the Minister of Broadcasting, um, we believe that in a fair and decent society it's important to improve ca um, captioning. That's why we've gone from $2.4 million to $2.8 million. We've also um, ensured that, I think under our watch, there's 265 hours per week of caption free-to-air television available. Um, 31 hours per week of audio described free-to-air television is now available. 100% of primetime content on TV1 and TV2 is captioned. And we will be working with Sky for TV and Prime to try and ensure this capability exists in the future. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Mojo Mathers. In light of the fact that she told the House on August the 12th that, and I quote, watching the All Black is something I think New Zealanders really do regard as being a critical part of being a New Zealander. Will she commit to making TV captioning mandatory in time for the next Rugby World Cup in 2019? The Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Broadcasting, obviously I'm asking on behalf of her, but as I've said before, um, and with regard to the comments that you make, you know, all of us believe that um, rugby is a great... Um, 
uh, part of our society and we want people to have accessible content but it's about how you get there. We actually think that making it mandatory would provide unnecessary costs on certain broadcasters. We think we can get there with voluntary and we are working with a range of organisations to improve captioning and I think we're moving in the right direction. As I've said before, 2.4 million to 2.8 million, more hours than ever before and we'll work with them around that technical capability. Question number 11, Sue